And the last thing that we're going to work on is the opposite of these last couple of types of calculations that we've done. So for both of these calculations, we've been given a solution and we've been asked to calculate the pH of the solution. The other scenario that you need to know how to do as a scientist is a problem like this. How much muck, not muck, how much KOH is needed for 700 milliliters of a solution with a pH of 12. So this question is saying, hey, I need to make a solution that has a pH of 12 I need 700 milliliters of this pH 12 solution, and I wanna use KOH to make my solution. So how much KOH do I need to put into this 700 milliliters to get a solution that has a pH of 12? To solve this problem, we are going to, first of all, recognize that we are dealing with KOH, which is a base, not an acid. So what we really want to be thinking about, we really want to be thinking in terms of POH, because that's easier when we're dealing with bases. So if we want a solution that has a POH of 12, or excuse me, a pH of 12, we want that solution to have a pH of two. Again, because pH plus pOH equals 14. So if the solution has a pH of 12, it must also have a pH of two, a pOH of two. So the question is, what do we need to do to make a pOH of two? Or what OH concentration will give us a pOH of two. To solve this type of problem, we are going to use the opposite of the pOH calculation. So we can't use this calculation or this equation directly right here because we know the pOH and this is the thing that we're trying to figure out. Instead of using that calculation, we are going to use the anti-log. The pOH is 10, excuse me, I got, I was, messed that up. The OH minus concentration is 10 to the negative pOH. This is the equation that we want to use because it's going to allow us to solve for OH minus. OH minus is 10 to the negative 2 because the pOH that we need is 2. And if we crunch the numbers on that, 10 to the negative 2, that is 0 0.01. So in order to get this solution, with the right pH, it needs to be 0 0.01 molar with respect to OH minus. We need to have 0 0.01 molar OH minus, which is another way of saying 0 0.01 moles of OH minus per liter of solution. We know that we are trying to make a solution that is 0.7 liters. That's given to us up in the problem, 700 milliliters. So if we do this multiplication, we can figure out exactly how many moles we need. And that is 0 0.007 moles of OH minus. Now we don't have OH minus available to us, we have KOH. But from the formula of KOH, we can see that every KOH molecule gives us one OH ion. And that's just coming from, there's one OH in the KOH. 
So that cancels out. And now we know how many moles of KOH we, we need. Our last step is to do a gram to mole conversion for KOH. The molecular weight of KOH is 56 grams. And we are going to need 0.392 grams of KOH to get the solution with that pH. Now, if this is stressful and you want more practice with this, don't worry. I'm going to do uh, at least one Alex problem that's just like this to show you one more time, at least one more time, how to solve this type of problem.